Now, finally, the man of the hour. We're here with Milwaukee Bucks superstar Giannis Antetokounmpo. Giannis, man, it's been a lot has happened over the offseason. But, but before we talk about that, how was your offseason? Did you, you do anything special? Um, no, not really. Um, had the procedure on my knee. Yeah. Took time to recover, uh, get healthy, get stronger. Spent a lot of time with my family. It was the first offseason in a mm-hmm. while that I could uh, be with my family because I wasn't able to participate in the national team and yeah. the World Cup. That's pretty much it. Then I came back, and then now uh, I'm ready you know, get, you know, get ready for the season. You know I got sources everywhere. So yes. I, I, I knew I knew about you in that barbershop. Mm-hmm. And one of the things, I ain't talking about everything that you, you were, they were very entertained with you in that barbershop. And what, one of the things that they... One of my people that was there told me, he was like, yeah, we asked him a question. We asked him, like, what's the one player, if you could play with anybody, what's the one player you would like to play with? And they said, you mentioned Damian Lillard at the time. And now look what look where we're at right now. Were you speaking that into existence? Yeah. I don't, I don't, I do, I'll be very honest with you. I don't remember <laughs> if I, that conversation, but I, I might have, have said it, you yeah. know. Um, but I don't remember the conversation. But, no, I'm very excited to play with him. Man, top 75, one NBA, man, uh, all-star, the guy, the guy that had a, that killing. Chris Middleton back there <laughs> messing around. The guy that's, that's a killer, you uh-huh. know, that uh, plays the game, you know, in a high level, plays with a chip on his shoulder. Like, you always want to play with guys like that. You know, he's been, like, you know, dominating this league and running this league for a lot of years now and you know I'm happy that uh, he's on our team now and he's going to help us uh, you know uh, be great and win a championship yeah, you had a golden quote that's making the rounds already that you said at press conference you, you said um, I'm paraphrasing but you said <laughs> how'd you say it it's good to make some money no no, 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 no go ahead I, even know I, said that. <laughs> I, I really don't know you know, because you guys got me too early, I just worked out. Okay, you knew it was coming, y'all. You knew yeah. the question was coming. No, I... You did, huh? I, no, I, it's not that I knew the question was coming. First of all, I... We talking about his, his potential extension, by the yeah, way, but yeah. go ahead. I don't, I said it in a, I said um, money is not important. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A lot of <laughs> money. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I want to ask you, before you get out here, y'all, I want to ask you, how come... You don't work out with other guys. You see other players working out with other guys. They're clicking up to, you know, it's just always like a big buddy thing. You've strayed away from that. It's kind of the, the old school mentality. Why, why have you taken on your career like that? So I think it's a very long answer. Uh, one. Go ahead. We got time, y'all. Go I, 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 I cannot fake it. Hmm. I, I cannot, I cannot fake it. Uh, and um, how, how, how can we work out together? You know, when we are, we are in the same, we're in the same league, and we we going against one another. You know, I, I'm trying to, I'm trying to create something for my family. Yeah. You try to create something for your family. You know, you, you, you know, what I'm saying, like, I'm trying to. The reason I'm not winning the championship, it's you. Yeah. The reason I'm working out every single day to win a championship. And you you get the, you get on that you know in my path in my way uh-huh. you know how can how the hell will I you know work out with mm-hmm. with you but at the end of the day as I said like I I wear I wear my heart on my sleeve I wear my emotions on my sleeve you know I don't know how to be fake mm-hmm. I, I mean I, I cannot do this and I feel like the moment I you know I I work out with players then then you have to you know kind of maybe hang out with them later. <laughs> then when you play them, you know, you, you, you have to talk before the game with them. And then uh, after the game, you have to sit down and have another conversation with them. And then when you go to the family room, you see them again, you got to talk to them. And then when you see them in the post, you want to put your shoulder into their chest. You cannot do it because they might take you after the game. Come on, guys. What you doing? I'm like, I can't play the game like that. I do not work out with people that play in the NBA right now. <laughs> That's what I... You know, so that is the two different things. If you if you if you're not in the NBA, I have no problem working out with you. You know, if you're in the NBA and I'm gonna see you in the season, and as as I said, I, when I get to, get to the city, I have to text you uh-huh. to hang out to come to dinner. Yeah. And after dinner, I don't know what it might be. And then the next day, 
I have to see you before the pregame, yeah. and then I have to see you after the game, and then we have to. Oh, I'm not. That's a lot. Yeah. Man, I'm not. I don't even do that with my my wife. Man. I don't even take my wife to date. I'm not gonna take you on a date. What? No. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah, especially if you do that every other night. Yeah, yeah that's no. A lot. Hey, you got me motivated and pumped up to kill this season in my profession right there. So thank you for that little pep talk right there, thank Giannis. You, thank you, Chris. Hey, that's Giannis out of the Koopa, Milwaukee Bucks, two-time MVP. Appreciate you, brother. Thank you. Thank you.